Hi there explorers, are you ready to embark on an amazing adventure? Have you ever wondered where rain comes from? It's not just magic, but a wonderful process that starts high up in the sky, or how rivers and lakes are always full of water. They never seem to run out, do they? The answer lies in a fascinating journey called the water cycle. It's nature's way of recycling water. It's like a magic trick, but instead of a bunny, we have water that never disappears. It just keeps moving and changing. Water changes forms and travels around the earth. It can be a liquid, a gas, or even a solid. Isn't that cool? Let's dive in and learn about the incredible adventure of water. From the clouds to the rivers and back again, water is always on the move. So grab your explorer hats and let's get started. The water cycle is a big circular process that moves water all over our planet. It is powered by the sun and involves three main steps, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Evaporation is when water turns into vapor. Condensation is when water vapor turns into clouds. Precipitation is when water falls back to earth. This cycle happens over and over again. It never stops. Imagine a sunny day at the beach. The sun is shining brightly and people are having a great time, splashing in the water and soaking up the sun. The sun warms up the water in the ocean, lakes, and rivers. This warmth is essential for the next step in the water cycle. When the water gets warm enough, it begins to change. It turns into an invisible gas called water vapor. This transformation is fascinating and happens right before our eyes, even though we can't see the vapor. This vapor is light and airy. It floats effortlessly above the surface of the water, almost like a delicate mist. It rises up into the air like steam from a pot of boiling water. Just as steam rises when you boil water at home, water vapor rises from natural bodies of water. This process of water turning into vapor and rising is called evaporation. It's a crucial part of the water cycle, helping to move water from the surface of the earth into the atmosphere. Once in the atmosphere, the water vapor cools and condenses to form clouds. These clouds will eventually release the water back to the earth as precipitation, continuing the cycle. Section 4. Clouds are forming condensation. As the water vapor rises higher in the sky, it gets colder. The cold air makes the water vapor clump together. These tiny droplets of water are so small and light that they float in the air. When enough of these droplets come together, they form clouds. This process of water vapor turning back into liquid water is called condensation. Section 5. Back to Earth Precipitation. As more and more water droplets gather in the clouds, the clouds get heavier. Eventually, the clouds become so full of water that they can't hold it anymore. The water then falls back down to Earth in different forms. This is called precipitation. Precipitation can be rain, snow, sleet, or hail, depending on how cold the air is. Section 6. Why is the water cycle important? The water cycle, also known as the hydrological cycle, is a continuous process by which water circulates throughout the Earth and its atmosphere. The water cycle is super important for all living things on Earth. It ensures that water is available in various forms such as liquid, vapor, and ice to support life. We need water to drink, grow food, and keep our planet healthy. Plants absorb water from the soil which is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which they make their food. The water cycle makes sure that we always have fresh water. It involves processes like evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection, which purify and distribute water. It also helps to keep our planet at the right temperature. Water vapor in the atmosphere traps heat, regulating the Earth's climate and weather patterns. Without the water cycle, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. Animals rely on water for hydration, and ecosystems depend on it to maintain balance and support biodiversity. So next time you see a rain cloud, remember the amazing journey that water takes in the water cycle. From evaporation to condensation and then precipitation, water travels a fascinating path. Did you know that about 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water? This includes oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, and even underground reservoirs. That's a lot of water. And it's all part of the water cycle, which ensures that this precious resource is continuously renewed and available for all living beings. Understanding the water cycle helps us appreciate the importance of conserving water and protecting our environment. Every drop counts in sustaining life on our planet. So whether it's the water you drink, 
the rain that nourishes crops, or the rivers that flow, remember the incredible journey of the water cycle that makes it all possible. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the Learning is Fun Kids channel for more learning videos.